Okay. I thought we had come during this, this whole series of videos. Today we will start with Unit 5, Astronomy and the Solar System. This is a unit for the uh, scientific streams. It means those who uh, study uh, scientific streams. So those streams are concerned with this unit. So this unit I'll just tell you from the beginning. But this unit for the scientific stream is the same as the unit of civilization for the literary stream. Because most of the students, pupils who study this unit, they don't like it because it is a little bit technical and needs a lot of knowledge and a lot of terminology of words. It means you must understand the words which are in the text. It means you must first have them the knowledge in Arabic to understand what is said afterwards in this text. So in this uh, unit, I'm not going to, to explain this for a long time, but I am going to give you a sample, a summary of the unit, just a way to help you understand some concepts of this unit. So let's start from the beginning by astronomy. Now defining concepts, now astronomy. Now astronomy in English, and I'm always giving you the definition to help you start with it when you write a paragraph, for example. You can, for example, at the end of this uh, unit, inshallah, we're going to see a paragraph, for example, uh, describing why we study astronomy. It means uh, uh, the topic will be why are do we, for example, as pupils in the th third year, why do we have a unit like this? It means why do we have a unit about astronomy? So I'm going to write you a paragraph about why we study astronomy. And it will be a descriptive paragraph telling you step by step what is astronomy. So the best way to start the paragraph is knowing the definition in English. So astronomy, it is the science studying the space and the universe. It's a very simple uh, definition. So it is the science studying the space and the universe. Now, the word astro, in the word astronomy, the word astro is a Greek word which means a star. It means the study of stars. So, in the past, for the Greeks, it was just looking at the stars in the sky, and for them, astronomy is a person who studies the stars. So, the word astro comes from the word star in the Greek language. Now, the person who studies astronomy is called an astronomer. Is an astronomer is a person who studies astronomy. And who studies, describes, investigates, goes through what is in the space and what is in the universe. It means they study what you call the heavenly bodies. It means you go step by step and come to each word at sight. Now, with the word astronomy, there is the word astrology. Now, astrology is a science, but it is not a science like astronomy, but it is called a sub-science. It means a science which comes from the biggest science, which is astronomy. So from astronomy, the person who studies astrology is called in English an astrologist, and an astrologist is a person who first studies astronomy, then from astronomy he gets what? It's a sub-science, it's not, it's not the whole science, but it's taken from astronomy. And it is a sub-science, uh, sub-science, sorry, science, sub-science, okay? It's a sub-science that studies what? The influence of stars, of star position, on people's faith. It studies the influence, the impact of the stars on people. And it's called in Arabic, this astrology is this in Arabic. Now astronomy is this in Arabic. So this science now is not a real science. And it is not good to study science because it is forbidden. And it is just a science which is treating subjects which are not really true. So when you st study the stars and on your faith, it means that you are not thinking that Allah is the unique God of our, of our God. It means you are think, thinking that other things are influencing your destiny on earth. So it is a forbidden science. But astronomy 
is a very good science to study. Now, astronomy and astrology are two, are two words that you may find in your uh, unit. It means I, I wanted to make the difference between what is meant by astronomy and what is meant by astrology. So, astronomy you now is the study of the space and the universe. Now, let's go step by step now and see step by step what are the words we find in this unit. Now, the first way we come to this unit is the heavenly bodies. The, the heavenly bodies. So, these heavenly bodies are the parts you find in the space. Because when you go out in the space, you find what we call the heavenly bodies. Remember? The heavenly bodies, you find them in the space. Now, these are, first, the asteroids. The asteroids. Okay? Then, for example, you find the comets. The comets. And you find the, the stars, the stars, and you find the planets, and you find the moons. There's not only one moon, but lots of moons. Now, for example, an asteroid, an asteroid is a big rock, a big, an asteroid is a big rock in the space. It is not a planet, it is smaller than a planet. It's not a planet, it's just a rock. A rock, it's a big rock on the space. It's like a planet, but it's not. And the astronomers said that, for example, Pluto in our solar system, in our, remember, in our solar system, let's say, where is the solar system here? In our solar system, okay, in our solar system there are not nine planets, but only eight planets. The, these are the planets of the solar system. They are, first, we have the star, which is the sun, then we've got Mercury, in every word of Arabic, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Mars, not Mars, Mars is in French, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Now, Pluto is not a planet. In 2007, the astronomers found that Pluto is not a planet. It is just an asteroid. So, these are what you call the heavenly bodies. So, an asteroid like Pluto, which is a big rock on the space. Now, a comet, a comet is a small rock which has got a tail. Now, this tail, like, for example, the Halley's Comet. A Halley Comet, which comes uh, sometimes near Earth. Now, the comet, remember, this is the comet in our day. Now, Halley's Comet is uh, an example of a comet. For example, the stars. Now, in our solar system, in our solar system, our sun is the star. The star is in our system called the sun, which is a big star. And the star gives the light. The star gives the light. The planet reflects the light. It means the sun gives the light. Now the planet reflects, reflects the light. Now, a planet, we have got a lot of planets in our solar system. These are the planets. A planet. Now, the planet goes around the sun. The planets go, go around the sun. They go around the sun in one year. For example, uh, Earth goes around the sun in one year, in 365 and a quarter of a day. 365 and a quarter of a day around to make one revolution, revolution, we see this next in the vocabulary, to make a revolution around the sun. And the moon, now, our earth has got one moon, the moon we see at night. Now, this is, this is the moon, okay? In our planet, there are just, this, this, this one, one moon. It is 150,000 kilometers far from earth. Now, other planets can have got a lot of moons, like, for example, like Saturn, like Jupiter, they have more than one. They can have two, three, four, five moons. So these moons uh, are what you call them in English, we call them the planet's satellite. It's the planet's satellite. Now a satellite, a satellite, here we've got satellites, our satellites that we send into the space. But the moon is a natural satellite. It's the satellite of the planet. Now, what is the difference between a moon and the planet, the planet goes around the sun, now the moon goes around the planet. At the same time, the, the planet 
goes around the sun and the moon goes around the planet. For example, the moon in 24 hours goes around the, the earth in 24 hours to make the day and for example, to make uh, 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 in one month. It makes around in one month. So the, the, the planet goes around itself to make, to make one day. The, the, moon, the, the moon goes around in one month and the earth goes around the sun to make one year. So these are the heavenly bodies. Now there are other names we find, for example, in the text of astronomy. For example, we find uh, the, for example, the space. The space, the space, look the space here, the space, and here's the space. So the space is a part of the of this solar system. For our space, for example, the space around Earth, there's a space. And there's an outer space, it means when you go out of the planet, when you go out, go to the moon or go to another planet, there's an outer space. So, there is a space, for example, here, the space like our space, and we go through the space to go out to the uh, solar system. Now, you put a galaxy. Now, our galaxy in English is called the Milky Way. The Milky Way, look here, it's the Milky Way, and it's also called the solar system. It has got two now. You find, you may find in a text, you, may, you might find that you, you might find the solar system, or you might find the Milky Way. It's the same, same, same word, Milky Way or solar system is one word. Now both are this uh, the uh, why because they, they because these planets goes around one sun, the sun which is the now. Now the solar is the adjective of this now, adjective. So we've got the galaxy. Now in our galaxy, our galaxy is called the solar system, or it's called the Milky Way. The Milky Way. In our galaxy, for example, there are a lot of asteroids, a lot of comets, a lot of stars. Uh, there's one star, one star in our solar system. There's one star. And there are many planets, like here in our solar system, there are eight planets, not nine, eight, and there are moons. In another galaxy, for example, Andromeda is another galaxy. Andromeda has got, for example, two suns, two salt suns, or two stars. And it has a lot of planets. It, can, it may have one, two, three, ten, twenty planets. And in our universe, the whole universe, now the whole universe is all the system, which is, was created by Allah, it's the universe, let's see the word uh, universe, so the whole universe counts millions of galaxies, millions of galaxies, or millions of galaxies, all is our made in this universe. So, we can study our space, we can study one or two planets, but it's impossible for the scientists to finish the study of the universe, it's, it's a huge universe. So, this is, in some words, the beginning of your unit. So, if from the beginning of the unit you get these notions, you get these words, and you know them, really, you will understand any text which is written in this uh, unit of astronomy. So, uh, thank you very much for this. I hope you've got an idea about the, 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 the main words, the main concepts, the main uh, lexical items you find in this unit. So they here are in Arabic and I hope you learn them and you find, you understand the text in which you find them. Thank you very much.